Anybody's got a question? Time. Now's the time. Who's got a question? Yes. You said something about the show is the relationship or the relationship is the show. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Uh, can you explain that a little bit more? Yeah. So, yeah, I cover, I cover that pretty quickly in class. So, the, the, the show uh, is the relationship, okay? The, the idea behind it, okay, first of all, what's the most important thing about stand-up comedy? Relationship, relationship with, with the audience. audience. Right, so let's start at that. That number one principle of the four principles I have of performing is that the most important thing is the relationship with the audience, okay? You guys have drilled that into your head, so let me, kind of, let me define that a little bit more. The, the relationship, I define that as you care enough to put your attention on the audience and bring their information in. Let, let their information in. Do you follow? If they don't laugh, you're noticing. If they are <laughs> laughing, you're noticing. Okay, et cetera. So that's the first thing. It's, you know, people think I mean, oh, it's riffing. Hello, what's your name? What do you do for a living? No, 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 no. I mean it's you being open to the audience having an impact on you uh, personally, psychologically, and the show itself. Okay, how the show goes. Uh, that's the relationship. So stand-up comedy, uh, what I consider really great stand-up comedy, is not a presentation. It's, uh, it's a dialogue. <laughs> You're putting out jokes, they're responding, that should have an effect back on you, and then, then you put out something else, and then come back to you, and it has an impact on you, and then you get into this feedback loop with the audience. Okay, so, so this, this loop, okay, that relationship of you having an effect on them and them having an effect on you, I think that is the show. Most people think, oh, it's, a really, it's, 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 the, it's the material I'm giving them, or uh, it's the riffing. To me, that's an activity. While well, you're relating, you have a good friend, a buddy of mine, we go out and have coffee and discuss humor theory all the time. We're really good friends, have been good friends for years. Is that coffee our relationship? And the answer is no, no, it's not. That's an activity we do while we care about each other and listen and give feedback and and laugh together and, and hang out, okay? Uh, so for me, material is an activity. Riffing with the audience, crowd work is an activity. Uh, improv, in some degrees, within stand-up is an activity. Audience participate, that's the activity. That's not the show. The relationship is the show, you see? Because you have to have that. First of all, let's just take it on the most fundamental basis of that. The audience is laughing. You need to be shutting up <laughs> while they're laughing. And when they stop laughing, you then start talking again. Now, with, if you're really in the relationship with the audience, you will develop a rhythm with them. We'll come back to that in a second, okay? I had a student who, uh, a, a guy, <clears throat> a veteran comedian of like 13 years, and he did a private with me, and then he came in and uh, he... Uh, uh, he, he went, wow, this is great, your stuff is so amazing, you, you really understand joke structure, you've you really broken it down, and so what should I do? And I said, take, take my beginner class. And he's like, oh man, really? I'm, you know, I'm a pro, I'm, I've been being paid, and I went, that's my advice. He set his ego aside and took that class, and after every beginner class, he'd come to me and said, where were you when I began? <laughs> okay, so, gets in the advanced class, we do a showcase, his first, uh, his first, his first piece just killed. And then the second piece dipped and didn't do quite nearly as well. And we got and we did the video review and he's going, what's happening? And I said, I know exactly what's happening. In the first bit, the timing that you had, you were imposing upon them. You, you'd done it, said that material so many times that, you know, that you just kept going. And the audience just followed the rhythm of, you were in, in, in the rhythm, the rhythm with this particular audience on that piece. On the other piece, the audience needed you to go slower and, and listen to them and take more time for them to comprehend each thing you're saying and how long they were laughing. But you had a bad bar habit of continuing to push, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And you got out of sync with the audience. You were ahead of them. So you're stepping on your laughs. 
you're cutting off the laughs too soon, all those things, and therefore the show took a dip because you were completely out of sync with the audience. So we started working with him and I had to train him all over again to put his attention on the audience and make the relationship the most important thing, not getting through the material, right? And, and so, you know, and as a pro, he caught on quick, but we'd have to see sit there and go, stop, stop, stop talking, we're laughing, you know, and he was really funny, so we'd laugh for long periods of time. Wow. And then after, after a while, he got that, and now every time he got up, he would get into that rhythm with us. He, you know, we'd laugh, he'd shut up, we'd lay in, and it was perfect because that rhythm, you see, that rhythm, you need to discover it uh, with the people that are in front of you. <laughs> and then it's never relevant again. <laughs> okay, what you do is go to the next group of people and figure it out with this group of people because it's a whole different series of rhythms and, and things that are going on. The room might even split. This group, go, goes, this group goes faster than that group. It's weird. But to, then you're aware of what's going on, so their laughter, lack of laughter, has having an impact on, on how you actually interpret the show for this group of people in front of you. Okay? So that you can't set the show exactly in language, and you can't set the interpretation of that show exactly. You need to get into this feedback loop. Relationship. Did I really do that? Yeah. A relationship <laughs> with them. <laughs> and, and, and again, it's caring. It's letting that information in and discover your, your rhythm with this audience. Uh, and it's different every single show, and it, to me, the rhythm and discovering that rhythm with everybody, get that rhythm going, rhythm going, rhythm going, rhythm going, rhythm going, and you know there's that final laugh, pop, hit that last laugh, there's a big scream, good night, wow. But that, you can only attain those kind of rhythms when you understand that the show is the relationship.